Brian's just joining. Uh, okay. It's just Roger and uh, Frank and Brian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome to um, the uh, full council meeting on uh, Wednesday, 22nd of July, 7 o'clock. Yeah. Item on the agenda is the, uh, the emergency evacuation procedure and the event of fire alarm by the emergency signal or a continuous standing of the alarm. Uh, please leave the room by the exit doors indicated and then we'll get the meeting point in the car parking area. It's obviously for people in the uh, county and the um, Secondly, filming and recording of the meeting. Um, are we recording on that one? No. No, we're not recording here. If anybody else wants to declare that they're actually recording, it would be nice. Yeah, I, I will be recording. Okay, yeah. so we've got a uh, recording there. Um, submissions from the public. Is the next item. Any submissions from the public? It's not on the agenda. No. No. Is it? Okay. So it doesn't appear to be any uh, uh, submissions from the public. So. The next item, number two, is to receive any apologies, scraps. No, I haven't received any. So, somebody, we better check up on Brian um, on the later tonight or tomorrow morning. Brian, he's oh, there. No, I'll beg your pardon, Brian. I meant um, Roger. Oh. Um, right. Applications for dispensation by council. Yes, I have one, which is the remaining one that will be done in May. That is for Councillor Ed Rowe, uh, a dispensation is requested to be able to speak and vote on budget and precept setting matters from the 20th of May 2020 until the 19th of May 2021. Okay, any more dispensation? Yeah, we need a proposal and a second yeah. for that, please. Yeah. Can we propose somebody propose that? Yeah. yeah, a second. Thank you, Keith. Can we take a vote on that, please? Yeah, those in favour? All in favour. Ben? 
Yeah, marvellous. Thank you. That's unanimous. Fine. Um, right. Declaration by members under the Local Government Act 1972. The uh, declaration? No? No. Okay, no problem. Announcements from the Chair. Um, the only thing I'd like to announce is that um, Due to the situation where we, we've um, uh, stopped um, because of the coronavirus situation, we've had to cancel the uh, uh, final festival um, this year. Um, uh, Dell has come up with a, a brilliant idea that we perhaps have a scarecrow trail um, where we can actually um, do this whether we're in a further lockdown or not, because one, it's outside, two, uh, like between family members, um, same household, they could do this. I will approach certain people for sponsorship, um, and details I think will be coming out to everybody shortly. Del wants to say anything at this moment? Yeah. Hi there. No, um, I'm just sort of in the middle of working out spreadsheets. So we've so far got three entrants um, because obviously we've contacted some of the schools um, and luckily today we've had the three responses. So it looks like it might be quite a big thing. So yeah, it, 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 if someone's not familiar with this, it's similar to the Wallace and Gromit uh, things that they did in Bristol and Bath and a few other towns. Um, and they've done this scarecrow trail in various other parishes, um, certainly in South Gloss. Um, and um, it's something that the community can get involved with um, at a very low cost. Um, and we could raise a few bob for the mayor's charity, as that's like to be a bit depleted this year. But further information will come out shortly. Sorry, can I just say, for it, Amy, for October? Yeah. We're looking at October half term. Um, uh, we've got a sponsor for, for the for all the schools to enter free of charge. It's only ten pounds per entry. Uh, for and we need about thirty five uh, companies, schools, um, businesses, whatever, to um, participate to make it a, a, a nice thing round round the town. Um, so yeah, we'll move on, and there's more more paperwork to come out in the near, near future. Can you so, just announce your mayor's charities as well? All right, the mayor's yeah. charities, which it's up on the website, but I'm going to continue with the um, uh, Great Western Air Ambulance and also Next Link, which is a uh, domestic abuse charity and that's a little bit more prevalent in the lockdown scenario, plus it's um, very close to my own particular family. Um, so that's the two charities for this year. Okay. And then the next item number six is to confirm the minutes of the meeting held on the 8th of July um, as a correct record. Yeah, I'll propose those, Chair. Well, they will be. Okay. Michael seconded. So those in favour, show of hand. Some people read it. Tom, are you playing on this one? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's one. Is that your numbers? Yeah. Yeah, what do you do? All right. Yes, sir. If you could keep your hands up for a second, they're laying, uh, uh, sorry, um, Sharon's counting. Ben, are you in favour of the minutes? Yes, good, very well. Okay, thank you. So, we're going to be in just initial and I don't think in the treatment of the minute, not a link. 
Like young people then say, you know, how you normally yeah, come to work and they don't come play tennis. No, I don't think. So there's a lot of journalists over there. So you try again, you could say, can you try and try and. But I also sent an email which had a link. If you put a quick one in the event, you should be able to click on it with a link and it had all the joining instructions in the email. If you can't get on, could you recall this apologies? I will record the apologies for the whole issue. Sharon, I Sharon, I couldn't find the link. I had to put it in the browser bar. It's uh um, because okay, I did send the an yeah. email through which had all the joining instructions on it and has the link on that. Yeah, yeah. I had it, Sharon. I had it, Sharon, that's how I got on this. Yeah. So Yeah. Well, the e easiest way is to just go on to the Bradley website and go to meetings and it says what the meeting is today and you open it up and you go straight on the link and that's what I did. Yeah. Um, so I looked on emails first and I must not, I couldn't find it. So I went no, there. Can... That's in the Word document inside, that's why. Yeah, it's on the front page of the agenda document. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I use that on the browser bar. Bit of a pain because it's that so was long. Fun. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I tried that as well. <laughs> Got it wrong. Bit of a pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're on the website again for the second time because it's got it's got lots of minutes on there and meetings from previous, but you've got to right. go down to the current meeting. So if you actually go and um, if you log on through the internet onto Zoom. And then just put in the meeting ID and password on join the meeting. You can you can do it through that way as well. Ah have... right. Okay. Yeah. And then well, we'll have to go through it all again in a minute for planning, won't we? You will indeed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, download the Zoom app onto your laptop. An hour's time. <laughs> they join the meeting and it gives you the yeah the um, uh, numbers. Of yeah, it would be easier, but of course South Gloss are telling us not to download Zoom. Yeah, yeah. so I understand. Mm. Well, it ruined my camera on my my uh, computer. Uh, I can't Did use. It? Yeah, I've had to put an auxiliary camera on. Well, that's probably that's what's happened to mine then. But it's messed a lot of people's cameras up. There's there's um uh, some kind of uh, virus or something. It's it's mm. affecting it's affecting the. Uh, um, okay. Well, the whole system. You know, so <laughs> they, they, they move on there. Uh, um, I, luckily, I find I find out, but they only have to use the oh, really uh, instrument uh, camera now. Hey. Well, no, you're thank you for joining us. He's not in yet. He's in his Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Roger. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, there he is. Welcome, Roger. You've you've got an off. Right then, let's move on um, to um, to deal with any matters arising from those minutes. That we've just approved. No, no matter what I do, but then we come to I think the main item, which is to um, chair. I I had a question on the um, fun fair. Is it on or off? We haven't got to that yeah. decision yet. That all oh, right, okay. Being delegated yeah. to measure you from the mean seat on the seventeenth of August. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. I know so, it was pending still, so yeah. yeah. That's all right. Um, so the um, the item eight is uh, twenty nineteen to twenty two of the April two nineteen twenty and section one page four. So um we read out So if I read out should I read out? Yeah, so the so following the so all the relevant 2019-20 annual return and audit documentation has been cir circulated to the councillors. So the first one, the approved the annual government statement, which is on section in section one, which is page four of the document you got. So if you're not sure, for anyone who's new, who's not necessarily sure which one it is, it... Can you see that? Can you see yeah. That? Yeah. Not sure how to clear that is actually, but it's actually the annual government's and accountability return. So, following the 
following councils internal governance inspection on the 21st of February 2020 and the minutes for that is on the back of your written sheet. Members considered the position and felt that strong governance, internal and risk management controls were in place. So following receipt of the successful internal audit, Council can confirm that it positively meets the requirements of all sections of the 2019 Annual Government Statement, Section 1. So it's got to be proposed? Yeah, we need to propose a second and vote. I'll propose that. John Ash is proposing it. Yeah. Second, chair. Please, I think. Yeah. I don't think. Can you show hand, please? Roger. Yeah, yeah. I'll put that. I'll put that. And up, oh, easy. Okay. Yeah, so that's you, Mama. Yeah, that's good. 8.2. Okay, so 8.2 is to approve the 2019-20 accounting statement in section two which is on page five actually can you do you get you know, can get in the sign if you go along yes yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. sorry we just pause for a second whilst we get the doc relevant document signed by the chair So the next one is to approve the 2019-20 accounting statement in section two, which is page five of the document. So taking the above into account and following further consideration, including the accounting and financial reports, which have been presented to the Finance Committee throughout the year, together with the final year-end figures, which were presented to June Finance, Council can confirm that it positively meets the requirements of all sections of the 2019-20 accounting statement, which is section two. Yeah, hopefully that was the uh, point answer. Yeah. Yeah. One has proposed. Who's that the second? Yeah, go on, Jerry. Okay. I think right. Terry could have just skipped in there. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> can we take a vote on that, please, Councillor? All those in favour? Yeah. Paul, is that in there? Marvellous, that's lovely. Thank you, Thank you very much. Over this a minute while we just get that piece of paper signed. Yeah. And uh, 8.3. Received the 1920 annual internal audit report, page three. Right. So the this is just to receive it because obviously this is what's been done by South Gloucestershire Council. The 2019 internal audit report was received. Members reminded that we did already receive a high-rated mid-year internal audit in February 2020 and South Gloucestershire Council Internal Audit Services have now also given a clear year-end annual internal audit as detailed of page three of the annual return. That's just been received for that. That's not the one to be signed. Yeah. So it's still got to be No, yeah. just, we just received that one. And 8.4, doctor date set for the period for the Biden's public audit. So obviously we have to, not yet, we get that in the right <laughs> um, Yeah, so we have to exercise, we have to add, sorry, we have to put up a statutory notice giving the dates of public inspection for, right. for our accounts. 
So the council were advised of the date, the period of the public notice, which would be Monday the 27th of July until Tuesday the 7th of September 2020. These dates comply with the statutory audit requirements and the notice will be placed on council's website and notice boards. So we need a proposal for that, please. Yeah. Sorry, been done, uh, Tom. It's Monday the second. I don't have there. I think you're in. Mm -hmm. hey, so keep on doing that. Mon it's Monday the seventh of Wait, September. One, one of the questions. Uh, um, Sorry, uh, Tom. Uh, Sharon. Sharon, the question is, how will they inspect uh, the accounts? How how is the exercise? What do you mean? Oh, we do it yeah, they have to come to the office or how is the social distance? Everything, all of the documentation will be on our website, but we will also have hard copies which we can hand out to people if they come to the office. So, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So, sorry, John, John proposed. Yeah. And was it seconded? Yeah, yeah, well, yep. let's get his name on the sheet. Right, can we take a vote on that, please, councillors? Yeah, well, what is happening? Those in favour, like to share hands. Roger. Yeah, yeah. who is it? Elaine, Ryan, did you put? Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, brilliant, that's great. Everyone in here, yes? Thank yeah. you very much. Right. Okay, I'm taking care of Yeah, it's recorded. Yeah, that's good. Right. So, now we move on to number the... Nine. Sorry. Number nine. Yeah. To adopt and sign the 2020 financial statement. Okay, so that is the, um, the large wadge of papers mm -hmm. that you had which is entitled Bradley Stoke Town Council Unaudited Financial Statement for the year ended 31st of March 2020. So that's the one. Yeah, this is the one they want. It's been agreed, but then you keep the new Did you not let us have the papers this time because you didn't think you'd get them all back? Sorry? Did you not let us have the binders because you wouldn't get them back? Well, we tried to save on postage, um, but yeah, it was quite a bulky pack. We didn't put out, yeah, because normally you get it in a fancy folder with a binder and plastic covers, don't you? But yeah, no, we've done. Um, we've done. Uh, we've done market this year. <laughs> yeah. Although actually, when we recycle everything, it all comes back in and then goes out the following year. But yeah. That's, that's, um, well, okay. Need a proposal yeah. and a second yeah. after that. Can I propose this, please? Go on, can I ask a question, please? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Rod. Page 16. We're talking about fixed asset valuations, okay? Um, there's two methods of doing that. You have new basement price for current market value. Um, down the bottom here, it says the council's profit books were valued at 31st of March 2008 by the valuation agency. That's quite a while ago, that's almost 12 years ago, it's not it's 12 years ago. Uh, and not all properties were inspected. I mean, presumably, we ought to really ask them to revalue the properties again uh, and the fill-in that we have properties and the equipment to work in pain with it. I think 2008 is a long way you know, past over. So which page was it? Page 16. The notes we can. If you look down the bottom, it says six asset valuation. Okay, it doesn't actually say which method they use, whether it's uh, current replacement costs or market value. Um, yeah, that's not. We have had well, we've had them done since then. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think they were all done last year. Yeah, they were. So that might be. I type. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that that might be as at 31st of March 2018. Are you sure? Um, I'm pretty sure that the that we have definite. And Terry said, yeah, 
Thank you, Rod. So, um, we need to get somebody to propose it. Unanimous. Thank you. So yeah, you can have, you must get that to sign. Very what's the second? All of the pages on this that have got me signed, yeah? Yes, we yeah. can then move on yeah. to the um, Number item 10 is to accept and sign the following audit report. 10.1 uh, is 2019-20 bank reconciliation. So you have that in your agenda pack? Point two is the 2019-20 reconciliation between boxes seven and eight of the annual return. Sharon? Yeah, again, then you have that in your agenda pack.
I pro I propose. Yeah. 
Honor the office Prince of Warrington. It seems a lot of money to me, £34. That's a boy of British, isn't it? Um, no, that's, that's, our, that's our big printer. That wouldn't buy a printer. So that is, and that is the... Um, so it says warranty. Is that a service contract? Yeah, so that, yeah, so if it breaks down, they'll come in within 24 hours and fix it. Yeah. Well, was that the one year? Yeah. He's a big old machine, man. He's old, isn't he? But not a big old, but it's a big <laughs> machine, yeah, it does everything. It's not just a little printer like you have, it does. And do you get charges yeah. on top of that for copy with that? Um, we do for, I'm not sure, is that the... Is that the colour one or is that the... Is this a printer that does all the... It does everything, yeah. So it is, yeah, it's extending parts of the warranty. Yeah. It is, yeah. So do we, do we get charged per sheet as well? Yeah, we do get another bit. Um, is that, is that the black and white one or is that the colour one? Um, um, it's the HP laser printer. Um, um, it's the black and white one, yeah. So that, that does include... That. We do get charged for copy, but we, do, we don't pay the ink cartridges for that one. Yeah, so we, we do we get paid charged with separate, which you get every quarter, I think it is, the invoice for the actual printing that we do. But we don't have to buy the cartridges for that, they're included, they come in within the cost thing. So. And what, what print do you supply to? Auto Digital yeah. Network. Auto Digital Who's Network. Who, sir? Auto digital, it says on the top of the uh, thing there. Oh, we see. Yeah. That's not a service charge, then. That's a warranty. That's the warranty for if it breaks down in the parts. But then we also we don't have to all we don't have to buy the ink cartridges. We've got a contract with them for that. We pay a certain amount per copy. No, and that's what the life expectancy of this machine is, and how far we're through its life. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably been, we've probably had it about, oh, I don't know, it's definitely, I wouldn't like to say I'm, whether it's new since I've been there, but it's 15 years old. I just wonders whether it's worth actually looking at putting the money rather than warranted for this one, and looking at the possibility of buying a more modern one. I think it, I think it's worth us looking at during this year. It's the huge one. It does all the stapling, the double siding. Uh, yeah, it would cost a hell of a lot of money to a good few grand. Yeah. 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 Fair five minutes, those things might be worth looking at whether we can I amalgamate and have one yeah. printer that does everything and rather than isn't just by into extension. You're looking at the search contacts and the warranty you're buying new printers. And then if you can buy new printers that don't have those associated charges or they're not as much to have those contacts against them, then that's when you're looking to do something. If it's a it's a case of near enough what you pay on the YouTube server. Mm. It's a question of what's the best value for money. Yes, yeah. But you get yeah. the, the value from what we've seen out the the uh yeah. and what cost cost design how we can get to them each year yeah. as well. So we we actually own this machine, do we? Yeah. I say we can actually hire. Yeah, so we can. I mean it's definitely something yeah. worth looking at at some stage this year, but again, it's, you know, it's going to take quite a lot of work. We've had a bit of printer issue in our business meeting. Yeah, it has been. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the uh, last, have we approved those uh, bills? I think so. Proposal to so be seconded by... Myself. Thank you. Thank you. Sleep in there. Mm -hmm. uh, those in favour? Tom, you in the back up? Where's the for a while, but he's going to blow this. Yeah, back in, wasn't Are you not going to respond then? Yeah? Thank you. Okay, so we'll move on then to the last item, which is the date of the next council meeting being the 16th of September, 20th at 7 o'clock. Um, I'll declare this meeting.
Yeah. I'm going to end this meeting um, and then if you bear with me for five minutes, I will then um, start the next meeting. Sharon, any chance of you sending over a link? I can do. I can send you the email again.